By 2050, when the largest percentage of the population of Latin America and the Caribbean will be 60 or older, will pensions and retirement benefits be sufficient for all? In three decades, the population over 60 in Latin America and the Caribbean will be the largest in the total population. It seems like a long time, but in the blink of an eye, today's youth and adults will become elderly and live longer due to the increase in both life expectancy and quality of life in Latin America and the Caribbean. This means that spending to cover the needs of older adults when they are no longer in their productive stage is increasing every day. It also means that the percentage of older adults who continue working after the legal retirement age is increasingly higher because they did not reach old age with sufficient resources to stop generating income and withdraw from the labor market. Countries in the region have increased social security coverage, especially in the non-contributory pillars, which are those that focus on the most vulnerable population and on those who were unable to make contributions for old age throughout their productive life. Thus, Latin America and the Caribbean currently allocates about 4% of its gross domestic product to pensions, which is equivalent to about 20% of total public spending. And what is expected is that as the elderly population continues to grow, is that this spending will get higher and higher. So, can the region sustain these levels of pension spending? The reality is that in Latin America and the Caribbean, this increasing level of spending is not sustainable. The region does not yet have the productivity and per capita income to have the same level of pension spending as other more developed countries, which reached high income levels before aging. If this rate of increase in pension spending continues, investment will eventually shift away from other areas that are fundamental for development, such as education, health, or infrastructure. So, what can be done about this scenario? First, promoting formal and quality employment and designing policies that drastically reduce labor informality is key. At the same time, we must continue to look for ways to expand Social Security so that it reaches all types of work and not only traditional and dependent workers. This implies, for example, facilitating contributions from the self-employed rural workers and those workers of the 21st century who generate income through digital platforms. Second, the concept of retirement needs to be rethought to transform aging into an opportunity to live in more prosperous and equitable societies so that workers enjoy a long, healthy, and flexible working life while ensuring protection mechanisms for those who are unable to continue working. Only if Latin America and the Caribbean moves in this direction and carries out the necessary reforms will all of us in the region be able to secure the future of the pension systems. Three decades may be enough, but it is only just enough time. Learn more in our series on the future of work in Latin America and the Caribbean.